Hey all you internet runners, Coach Nate here. Today we're talking about how to run a faster 5K. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner runner who's attempting you know, their second or third park run or if you're that high school or collegiate who is really trying to get their times down that much faster. The principles in this video will work for you. Let's dig in. All right, the number one step we need to tackle with that 5K is setting the intention that you actually want to run one faster one day. Then the next thing you need to do is pull out a calendar and circle a date and be like, that is the day that I'm going to do it. And then we can work four to six, be back, uh, four to six weeks back from there and get you going. Now, what should that training look like? From a big picture, we need to get you running for sure, but we need that running to have purpose. We need to have that run to have variety. We need to have you purposely work on slower speed runs on certain days, really working on technique and on your breathing and on your form. And there are other days where we're purposely running a lot faster, way out of your comfort zone on the other sides. And then of course, we're building your stamina, your ability to hold your 5K pace for longer periods of time. Running though is not just the only thing. We need to have other aspects of our training in there to make sure that our mobility and our hips and shoulders are much better and more open. Our ankles and our shins are strong and stable and our hips are stable so that every time we step, we're not falling apart and going down the path towards injury. Uh, so we need to have two days a week strength training in there. And then of course, we need a little bit of mobility work in too because we're always pushing ourselves really hard and something is always bound to get tight. There's a lot of stuff out there online and it is hard to wrangle all this yourself. So the good news for you is that we have done all that work for you and we have put it all into something called the training club. So if you want to train with us and get all this good stuff that we talk about in our videos all the time into an actual plan that would improve your 5K, go ahead and check out the link down in the description. It's why we're here to help you runners go check it out. In this next piece, we're going to dig into some of my favorite 5K workouts to really practice that race pace. All right, now we're gonna get into one of my favorite workouts, one of my favorite race pace workouts. We're actually gonna practice the pace that we're gonna to try to hold for the race itself because believe it or not, if we don't give any exposure to the, uh, the pace we wanna run, we're not really gonna be able to execute on race day. So what we're gonna start is with a three by five minutes at my target 5K race pace effort. Now, if you have a certain number in mind, by all means, please start there. But if you don't, we're gonna go off of an effort. We're gonna target a seven to eight out of 10 effort. And, uh, and the first five minute effort, like you're gonna be controlled. It's almost gonna be like that first third of the race where you're, you're you know, pushing, but you're, you're holding back a little bit. And by the time you get to the second and third one, you're just trying to work a lot harder just to maintain that effort. Now my goal here is that you actually do a broken 5K eventually. So let's say you're someone who is a, you know, 18 minute guy. You're gonna build up to say three by six minutes, kind of targeting that pace and that, that effort's gonna be up there. It's gonna be a challenging workout. But let's say you're a 30 minute 5K runner. What I'm gonna focus on is potentially three to eight by eight to 10 minute efforts. You're, your, um, your intensity might not be quite as high, but you're just gonna be going a little bit longer just to practice. And if we kind of get an effort like this in, you know, every seven to 10 days, something like that, that'll give us a lot of practice. We'll be able to build up and we'll be able to nail that 5K come race day because we've practiced. All right, number three is that we need to warm up well, not only on race day, but ideally before all of our runs. If I get in the habit of being this cold, stiff, hunk of human flesh and I just just tried to run down the road it's not going to go very well for me and then when I show up on race day I'm going to be a stiff nervous cold hunk of flesh that's not going to race very well either right I need to do some things that get my shoulders and my hips open increase body temperature it's the reason why we do so many warm-ups on our channel in general but things that also give you a little pre-race routine is really really great some of my personal favorites I'm going to warm up with a first five to ten minute easy run just thinking about my breathing I'm then gonna stop and I'm gonna do a little dynamic routine of some arm swings. You've seen these before. If you haven't, we have them on our channel. Uh, working on some leg swings, working on a few air squats to open up the hips, some hip circles, some lunges. Just a, a couple minutes, 
doesn't take super long, but it opens up my hips and shoulders, gets me into my body, gets all those muscles firing. Finally, I'm gonna work on a few running drills. Some of my favorite run drills would be to work on some pulling just to get my hamstrings fired up so I could hit a few pulling drills on one side, hit a few pulling drills on the other side. I could back that up with some nice high knees, some butt kicks out the back, just working on a 20 or 30 meter section back and forth and that just, once again, gets my body prepped, ready to go and then I'll finish things off with some accelerations, some striders where I start slow and just accelerate over a 50 meter section. I do that a couple times, ideally I finish about 10-15 minutes before the gun goes off and I am ready and rearing to go. Now all the planning and the training doesn't really work if we bugger it up on race day to borrow a favorite phrase from our friends across the pond, right? We need to have an idea of how we want to execute this thing and then we need to deliver the goods. So what's helpful to think about uh, the 5K is to break it down into thirds, right? And to mentally rehearse this. I'm actually sitting down on down here in a little meditative like stance because I actually like to meditate on my races. I like to mentally prepare and go through every single section in my head before it happens just to show how I'll feel, what I'll be thinking about, what's gonna make me nervous, what's gonna hurt. So that when I show up on race day, I'm like, oh yeah, I've been here before. All I need to do is put one foot in front of the other. So that first third is all about settling in. You're excited, you're nervous, there's other people around you. People are gonna go out fast. Some people are gonna go out faster than they should. And the more you know your plan, you know the speed you need to go out. So settle in. That middle third of the race, it's gonna be about finding that rhythm. You found that pack of runners that you're probably going to be around. It's just staying smooth. Can I think about the things that I can control? My breathing, staying relaxed and fluid with my arms, finding that deep rhythmic breath and not letting yourself go too sh uh, shallow and stressed out in the, in the chest there. That's gonna be that middle third. And finally, that final third is gonna hurt. You know it's gonna hurt. And the better runner you are, the more you want it to because you know you're really pushing yourself to your limit. So that last third is all about digging in to what you have and thinking back on all the training that you've done to get yourself here. It doesn't matter, the first mile doesn't matter, the second mile doesn't matter, it's all about that last piece. That's where the training really counts. So dig in, invite that hurt, and you know that if you've done those last two pieces and you've trained and prepared really well, and you've done all the other things we've talked about, you are gonna set yourselves up for an incredible 5K. Remember, you too could join the training club and be one of our newest members. We've got great programs, including our 30-day challenge, which is really perfect for building up the running form, the speed, the strength, and, and keeping you uninjured as well for your 5K practice. That link is right down below to go ahead and join the training club. We even have an offer where you could try it seven days for free how about that? And of course, if you like this video on faster 5K running, give us a little thumbs up. It means a lot. If you have any comments or questions, what we talked about, I know we didn't hit everything today and you got questions and we got answers or at least we'll give it our best shot. So throw those down below and of course subscribe to our channel because we have videos coming out every single week on everything, nutrition, strength, injury prevention. We're not getting into um, guessing people's astrological signs yet, but Holly's been bugging me about it. I think she wants to do it. So that might go in there too. But anyway, guys, I gotta keep filming. I'll catch you in the next one.